Hi, everybody. Chase Raz here from the Zillica Observer. Some good news for you, some bad news for you, and some commentary from me, plus a little bit of an apology here. But let's start with the good news, because what this video is about is the fact that the first governance vote from Package Portal export implementation has completed, and it passed 99.8% to 0.2%. Very popular proposal here, apparently. Uh, it said, make up your own mind. Uh, you apparently did. And um, here's the bad news. We have to vote again. The vote's not going to be valid, and I'll show you why really quickly. If you take a look at the quorum percentage at the bottom, it says we're only 20% of the way towards reaching 10% quorum. However, that's not true. Um, we actually doubled the 10% quorum and 20% of all outstanding tokens voted. I did the math myself, right? The, the numbers are somewhat serendipitous there, but approximately 20% of all port were utilized to vote on this. So we doubled the quorum. For whatever reason, the whether it was a miskey by somebody, whether it's how the governance portal was written, and I'm going to come back to all of that in a moment. Um, for whatever reason, the contract can't pass because the total supply, the total max supply of port was used rather than the actual circulating supply. Again, miskey, programmatic, doesn't matter. We'll come back to that in, in just a few moments. So let me deal first with how is Package Portal responding? What are we going to do about this? The solution right now, take it right back to vote. Uh, so the vote closed at 3 p.m. today, April 15th, 2021. And on April 15th, 2021, today at 8 p.m. Eastern, new vote opens back up. And it's going to run for two days, 48 hours, will take us to Saturday, the 17th of April, 2021. Um, at that point, look, here's what we know. Export's minted. It's ready to go. I think it's staged. I think it's a few lines of code or a few buttons. Sorry to the package portal team if I'm not making any sense, but that's an external analysis. Uh, without any internal information of how far along you are in having this ready to go. So we've been told within two weeks of passing, this will happen. Um, that means either we, we also can in, intuit it's going to happen between a Sunday night and a Monday. That's when the 10% reward cycle, um, it's Monday to Sunday cycle. So either this Sunday to Monday, next Sunday to Monday, or the one following that, because again, a two week period, if this passes again, we should be fine. It goes into effect one of those three weekends. I'm thinking, you know, this one or the next. I'm, I'm, I really don't think it'll take two weeks and change, but that's an opinion. All right. There is something I need to address here about this, right? The good is it passed and I have the first vote. The bad is we have to vote again. I made some people mad earlier when I said, I want to know where this problem comes from, who caused it. And I want to know by name and I want to call them out by name. And of course, those are blustery words. So I apologize for the misinterpretation that that gives. The idea was that I'm being egotistical and somebody owes me an answer and um, that I want to humiliate or shame. That's not even where my head is with this. So let me tell you where my head is with this and why it's a bigger problem than I think most of us are realizing. Because well, what's the big deal? Do a vote over, right? So if somebody miskeyed the amount, don't worry about it. You did as best as you can. It's not a big deal. Nobody cares. If this is how the governance um, portal is, is designed to work. No big deal. You're right. Great code. Let's move on. Here's why it's a big deal and why we need to identify it by name, not to shame people, but to ask, how do we go forward? How do we fix this? Because if we say in the Zillica space that we're enterprise ready and Silicon smooth, this shows we're not enterprise ready. A lot of us got into crypto first because of the promise of smart contracts. And many of us started as, you know, Ethereum with that gateway drug. And here we are in Zillica because of sharding, because the advancements but there is, you know, real world contracts. There are real world contracts that get negotiated and hashed out. This is what brought me to it. I was a negotiator in purchasing and logistics, and I saw the power of what Ethereum at the time could do. Based on the way we would have written this for business logic, this vote passed. It's the blockchain that doesn't recognize it. It's the blockchain and its consensus mechanism that worked flawlessly, but have the real world miss understood. You cannot tell if governments adopt this for voting, you cannot tell a government, go back and have everybody vote again for either candidates. You can't tell a company, go back about it again. So I want to apologize to anybody I offended, but also reiterate how important this is. It is the blockchain that's wrong, not us. We have to find a way to fix it and move forward.